Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on uh, with our AI, and uh, in this one we're going to be making him um, chase the player, and then also showing you how to do a kind of a patrol, okay? Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, start. First thing, let's open up our AI character, and uh, you should notice, or remember, we have this kind of roaming um, behavior. Let's actually rename this to roam, okay? just so it'll be a little more obvious. Um, so yeah, he's going to roam. And if you want to see that really quick, you know, you can just see him. He's roaming around, doing his thing. He has like a little delay between movements. Uh, but yeah, that, that's our AI for now. Um, so next, let's go ahead and um, we're going to take the same exact setup, okay? But we're going to create a new event. And this event will be called, um, let's add a custom event. And we'll call this uh, chase. Okay, so he's going to chase the player. Eh, yeah, might as well just name it chase player. Don't need to be too um, too non-descriptive. Uh, but yeah, plug that in. Um, and now instead of instead of getting the actor's location and getting a random point, we are going to right-click, get player character. All right, so it's going to find the player character, and we will set that as the target actor. Okay. And now, after this delay, we will then call chase player. Okay. And then on event begin play, let's go ahead and instead of roam, we'll say chase player. Okay. So we'll break the links there. Um, and I did that by alt clicking, in case you don't know that. Uh, but yeah, now if we go ahead and press play, we should see, you know, he chases us, right? And when he reaches us, he pauses for a second and then he comes and chases us again. So there we go. Um, we've got him chasing. Awesome. Okay. So that's great. Um, now what we might want to do, right, is once he reaches us, you know, we might want him to attack us or something or, or do any number of things, right? And that's where this on success event kind of comes into play, right? Once he reaches us, like within a certain amount of, you know, distance or whatever, um, he can do something. Okay. So, uh, what we'll say he can do is... Um, let's actually delete uh, delete this, or no, not delete it. Let's just save it for a second. Let's break this by alt clicking again. And now on success, we're going to drag out and say spawn emitter at location. Okay. Uh, next, we'll say play sound at location. And then finally, we will say destroy actor. Okay, there we go. So um, for the location, we want to right click and say get actor location, and that will return the uh, the location of our you know our AI character. Um, so we'll plug that into the location for both. Okay, and then now let's go ahead and select what emitter we want, and I'm going to choose the explosion. Uh, so I am using the starter content, uh, but this you know is just an example. Uh, so we'll choose explosion, and then for sound we'll choose the explosion cue. All right. So now, if I compile and save, right, and I press play, and I'm running away right away, just because I don't want him to blow up on me right away. Um, but you know, if I let him, if I let him, basically hit me, he he blows up and he destroys himself, and you know he plays that sound. So, um, yeah, just kind of a you know quick example of what you could do, I guess, after your um, character chases you down or whatever. Um, you know, you could also add some damage. You know, like use the apply damage node, right? And then the actor to damage, you know, you could have it damage your character or whatever. Um, yeah, just kind of a bunch of different examples of what you could do. All right, so I'm just going to hook all this up again. And um, actually, I think I might break this up into one more tutorial. Um, but for this tutorial, let's also go back out here to AI. Let's right click. And we're going to create a blueprint uh, enumeration. And basically, this is going to be for defining what kind of AI we are, or rather, what kind of state he's in. Okay, so we'll say um, E for uh, enumeration, E AI state. So we'll open this up. Uh, and I'm going to add a couple. Um, I'm going to add a default one. Uh, but this one, we could just name uh, Rome. 
so he'll kind of roam around. This one we could name, um, I'll say Chase, uh, you know, Chase Player again. Um, and then in the next tutorial, we'll look at kind of doing a patrol. All right, and uh, that'll be good for now. Okay. So um, last thing, let's go back to our character really quick. Let's add that variable. So let's add it, and we will say, um, what did I just call it? Uh, oh yeah, we'll call it AI state. Okay, and then for the variable type, let's go ahead and say E AI state. Compile and save. Okay, and now um, I'll break this link. And on event begin play, we are going to do a switch on a switch. I can't spell today. This is fantastic. On uh, so we'll switch on AI state. Okay, and the state will be whatever this is, All right? So we'll do roam. If we're roaming, we'll do chase player. If we're chasing player, okay. So we can compile this and save it. And now, if we go back out to the editor, uh, we can click on our character now. And um, oh, I forgot one thing. We need to make this public. So to click the little I there to make it public. So if we go back out, it should say under default we can specify you know which kind of state to use. So let's say roam. Okay, so we'll tell him to roam. He'll roam around. All right. Now we can change it to chase player. Now he'll chase us. Right. Um, so now if we added a couple different AI, right, we could have them do different things. So let's let's make this um, let's make two of them roam, and the other will chase us. Okay. So we'll press play. And there we go. This guy's going to chase us, and the other two they're just going to roam around. Um, so, anyways, um, that'll be it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll look at you know just kind of setting up a little patrol uh, kind of AI, um, and then you know probably maybe go into some combat kind of stuff um, and like switching up states. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.